What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on how to slay that cut crease. So I don't know about you guys, but cut creases have always been something that I've admired so much. I've always been so fascinated with them, but because of the kind of eye, like the way that my eye is set up. For me personally, I have slightly hooded eyes and I have a lot of folds and creases on my lids that's just what I was given so whenever I did create a cut crease on myself it would never really turn out quite the way I wanted it to but I think fingers crossed like I think I finally mastered the ultimate cut crease on my particular eye shape so I thought this would be totally helpful for those of you who do have a similar eye shape to me or if you do have slightly hooded eyes or have a lot of creases going on in your crease on your crease on your eyes so i really do hope that this video does help those of you who have been wanting to master the cut crease but can't seem to get it to work for your eye shape if you guys have a similar eye shape to me then this is the place to be oh my god i'm so lame <laughs> Anyways, before we get onto the tutorial, if you do enjoy this video or you do find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video I post. Anyway, with that being said, let's get onto the tutorial. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I have one eye done and the other one is looking pretty naked right now. Fingers crossed that I can get these to look even. It's kind of like winged liner. To begin, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a traditional concealer buffer brush and I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base to prime my lids just so that it's all nicely primed for the shadows. And then now that that's all nicely blended in, I'm just going to take a teensy bit of translucent powder just to set that base in place so everything's all nice and smooth. So for today's look, I am going to be using my Morphe 350 palette. It barely fits in the screen because it's that large. This is like a really good neutrals palette because as you can see, it has like every warm brown neutral shade that you would ever need so what i'm going to be doing first of all is taking this shade right here as you can see it's a very orangey warm tone shade look at my little eye peeking out on the side there it's kind of creepy <laughs> but i'm going to be using this as my initial transition shade you guys will see that this is actually really easy i'm keeping it very simple for you guys i'm just going to be taking a fluffy buffer brush sorry, a fluffy crease brush, dipping into that color and I'm pretty much just going to run this through my crease. And you wanna make sure that you're running it from inner corner all the way to the outer corner. When you do get to the outer corner of your eye, as you can see, there is a slight flick to my cut crease over here. So we wanna kind of emulate that as well. So what you wanna do is just take whatever is left on your brush. You wanna do this after you've blended most of that shadow through your crease and then just take the excess of whatever is left on the brush and flick it through the end, kind of like a little tail. And if you want to build up the color, you can totally do that. Remember that it's better to add shadows than it is to take away. It's much more difficult to try and blend product away when you've applied too much than it is to add more if you do need more. Also, when it comes to this part of applying shadow, you don't have to be super neat with it. I know cut creases do look very intricate and detailed and like they take, they look like they take a lot of precision to do, but the technique that I'm gonna show you, you'll soon realize that it actually isn't, like you don't have to be super, super neat with it all because you can totally clean up any mistakes that you make. So just continue blending till your heart is content and your wrist is sore. And yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that that color is down, I'm going to go in with a slightly deeper shade, just the next shade over right here. And I'm going to be using another fluffy blending brush, but this one is a little bit more denser than the one that I used. You guys probably can't even tell the difference, but to me, this one is a lot more defined. So I'm gonna use this for that slightly darker shade to run that in my crease. 
so that it really adds more definition to the crease. So you pretty much just want to do the same technique that you're doing for that initial shade, running it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of your eyes, and then doing that slight flick at the end. Alrighty, so now that that's all good to go, we're going to lay down the darker shade that is really going to bring the whole cutting effect into the cut crease. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here, and I'm just going to be using a pencil brush. This is the Zoeva Lux pencil brush, and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that onto my brush and running it through my crease again. But since this is the shade that is really going to define the crease, you want to kind of keep in mind where you place it. I know I said you could be totally messy with the other two. Like you don't have to be super, super neat with this part, but it does really help if you take a little bit more care. What I like to do, as you guys can see, I do have lots of folds and creases in my lids. Like, you know how it is. So what I do is I kind of look in the mirror, see where I want the product to go. I especially do it when I have my eyes open because obviously if you're looking down, it's very easy to start placing product down and then when you open your eyes up, it kind of disappears into the crease. At least that's what it is for me. If you guys have a similar eye shape to me, then you would have this issue as well. So this is the part where I probably take the most time. And I'm basically just going back and forth Pretty much again, doing the same motion, running it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and slightly flicking it out on the outer corner. This part is definitely the part that takes the most, like takes the longest amount of time. But once you're done with this, it's like smooth sailing from here. So do it right once and you're good to go. Also, you do want to keep in mind how they look in balance with one another because I've already done this one. I kind of have to match up this eye so it looks the same. Like I said, it's much like doing winged liner where you've got to make sure each side is even. Feel free to take your blending brush throughout this part and kind of blend because this is the part where you can blend. Once you do go ahead and cut the crease with concealer, it's a little more difficult to do a little more blending. So you do want to make sure that the top edge of that darkest color is slightly blended. Um, so it kind of fades all together nicely. Alrighty, so now that I'm pretty happy with how that's looking, I'm going to begin with cutting the actual crease. So what you're going to need for this part is preferably like a liquid-based concealer, not a cream. I find that liquid ones are a lot easier to work with. You could totally use a foundation as well, but I feel like concealer is much more opaque. And I'm just going to be using this really precise shader brush. This is the Zoeva 238 Lux Precise Shader. So what I'm going to do is I'll be taking just a teensy bit of concealer onto that brush and I'm going to look straight forward into the mirror and then begin cutting the crease. And then when I get to the outer corner of my eye, I kind of just flick it just like winged liner. And then of course, I'm just going to take whatever is left on my brush and pretty much just color in the rest of my lid. Another thing to note is that in between like applying the concealer to my crease, I do kind of take a step back and just have a look at how it looks whether it matches up with the other eye and how it sits when my eye does open and all those creases kind of fold over. Um, it really does help to kind of like take a step back and just have a look in the mirror and see what's going on. Alrighty, so now that I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm just going to be taking a matte bone colored shadow. Just a mix of these two right here I'm actually going to take and I'll just be setting the concealer in place. You can totally use any color you like, like you can go for a shimmer, a really bright color, but just for the this particular look, I'm just going really simple. So now that that's all done, I am going to do something that is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but because I want everything to be nice and crisp, I'm just going to take that same color again and I'm going to use a really defined brush. This is actually a smudge brush. I don't know who it's by, but as you can see, it has a very fine point on the end, which is perfect for what I want to do. So I'm just going to be taking a teensy bit of that dark brown on the end of the brush and lining that line. All 
Alrighty, so now that everything is looking pretty even, what I'm going to do, if I can find my brush, I'm just going to apply this shade right here and use that as my brow bone highlight as well as my inner corner highlight. Alrighty, all that's left to do now is apply some liquid liner, lashes, and all that good stuff, and I'm done. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I'm obsessed. I think I finally mastered the cut crease and I hope I was able to help some of you guys do the same. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video I post. As always, I will leave a full list of the products I used in this video down in the description box and I'll also leave the brushes that are used as well because I do know that that might be helpful for some of you guys. In the description box you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts so if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat all of that is down below. With all that being said I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy!